Where's everyone going? Bingo? Resident Evil 4. We are playing Resident Evil 4, one of the best entries in the Resident Evil franchise, and considered by some to be one of the best action games of all time, easily making its way into top 100 list every year since it's released. Even though some of those review lists are a little sketchy, he thinks that maybe they're trading some of their stars for some, uh, green stars, if you know what I'm saying. You play as Leon Kennedy, an agent who's been sent by the President of the United States, no less, to recover his daughter who's being held captive in a rural Spanish village. Of course, Spain is here to help and sends you two of their best operatives, Nameless Police 1 and Nameless Police 2. That's not foreshadowing at all. The game picks up six years after the events of Raccoon City. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed. Hey, you know we can hear you monologuing up here. You arrive at the outskirts of the village with Ashley's last known location. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. We'll stay and watch the car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Leon then finds a local, and as most people would do, uh, after hearing a couple of gunshots and seeing a stranger barge into their house with a gun equipped, immediately attacks Leon. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Oh, hello, Spanish local. I'm from the United States. That explains why I came into your house with a gun, right? ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! <sighs> Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! I don't know if at this point Leon actually has enough information to determine that the locals are hostile. I mean, he just walked into some guy's house, diced him like a tomato, and then the villagers reacted to it. I think no matter where you're at in the world, if you walk into someone's house and cut them up like a jack-o'-lantern, I think the neighbors are going to react pretty negatively to that. Of course, the only way media knows how to show you that a character is actually good at heart is by having them help an animal. So immediately after putting down three humans, Leon decides to help this wolf out of the bear trap. That tracks. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. A playing manual? Wow, Heineken. Thanks. I'm sure if my knife breaks, I can just take one of the pieces of paper and slowly paper cut them to death. Lord, now, continuing with Leon's shoot first, ask questions never policy, he starts immediately shooting at the villagers. Now, we know Leon's a good guy, but if you had to write this down on paper, I don't know if it would come across that way. Something tells me it'd be kind of hard to figure out who's antagonizing who. Getting to the village starts this survival event where you have to fight off waves of enemies who are still villagers at this point, not zombies, let me remind you. I know they dissolve into goo when you kill them, but I think that's just a Spanish thing. There's a shotgun on one of the buildings, and if you get this during the timed event, it'll spawn chainsaw guys. But if you manage to kill them, they'll drop loads of gold. Because if there's one thing I know about lumberjacks, it's those guys are loaded. Matt Coger doing exactly oh, what he had to do. And everything derailing for Mike Slingerland. Incomplete discs, chain off the saw, double fist pump from Matt Coger. That man just won himself a truck. If you manage to survive, we get the title and Leon says his classic catchphrase. Where's everyone going? Bingo?
Heineken, I'm freaking out. I thought Spain was going to be more bulls and luchadors and a lot less zombies. I don't know why there's all this handgun ammo in a village where no one owns a gun. I mean, if you own handgun ammo and you want to display it, that's your own business. But maybe for the one day where someone's coming to your town who's probably going to try to kill you and has a 9mm handgun, just put it away for that day. You can leave it out for the other 364 days of the year, just put it away for that one specific day. I killed all the chickens, but maybe they got in trouble for encouraging animal cruelty and they removed the fact that you can get loot from them on the Wii version because I didn't get any eggs from any of them. Of course, Leon can't reach something that's slightly above head height, so like you would if you were at home trying to get the Cheerios, you just pull out your handgun and shoot it a couple of times. The wolf shows up for a cameo and does absolutely nothing. Leon kills everyone at the farm, including this guy who has infinite axes. Maybe they just build them differently in Spain? I mean, I looked, he's only got one on his back. Naturally, Leon is too weak to push the shelf, even though we've seen him kick three people at a time 10 feet and survive 30 foot drops. So of course the solution is just to unload a couple of bullets into it. <sighs> it's nice to have a bit of a break. I'm sure nothing bad could possibly happen in this downhill valley that's perfectly sized for a giant but If you backtrack a little bit, you can actually shoot these guys. I like how you can still see the guys up on top of the bridge like Hey, are you dead? Hey, I can't, I can't tell from here. Are you moving? Wait, is that a gun? <laughs> As we continue further, we go through this tunnel with bats. Hey, I see an animal. I shoot an animal. What do, you, what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Next, Leon kills some guys chucking dynamite and then, of course, has to kill some spiders. After knifing bear traps and shooting trip wires, we hear something moving in a dresser inside this building. <laughs> Leon opens the dresser and out pops this gag Spaniard. Immediately Leon can tell he's a good guy because he's handsome and has a good hairline. <laughs> ah. Ah. Little rough, don't you think? You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. It was a trap. Now you would think Leon just having killed about 50 of these guys single-handedly with nothing but a pistol would just draw his gun and get it over with, but instead this happens. The big cheese. What? Leon tried to kick the big cheese, but instead gets his foot caught and gets flipped and knocked out. What will happen on episode 2? How will our Cavalier comrades survive this one? Hey guys, Taylor here. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more fun recaps like this and continuing with our regular game content like usual. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.